Now let us discuss about port transport mechanism which is a very simple and easy drug transport mechanism. Port transport mechanism is also called as convective transport, bulk flow or filtration. Based on the title, let us have a reflection spot. What may be the mechanism of port transport? Just pause the video here for a moment, think of your own and try to get an answer and write that answer on a paper. So let's pause the video for a second. Yes, welcome back to port transport. So you have written your own answer. Now let us see what may be the exact mechanism of port transport. Port transport takes place through the protein channels that are present in the cell membrane. The drug molecules passes through these protein channels from one end to the another end. Examples for such drug permeation through port transport include renal excretion, removal of drug from cerebrospinal fluid and entry of drug into the liver. These processes depend on port transport only. And what is the exact driving force behind this port transport means? Hydrostatic differences or osmotic pressure differences across the membrane is the driving force behind this port transport. Thus the molecules are passed through the aqueous channels along with the bulk flow of water. That means as the water passes through these protein channels, they will drag the solute molecules also. That means the drug molecules will also pass along with this bulk flow of the water. And the water flux that promotes such a transport through these protein channels is called as solvent drag. Let us face another reflection spot. Will there be any influence of size of drug molecule which participate in port transport? What do you think? Is there any influence of size or not? So again pause the video here for a moment. Think of your own and write your answer on a paper. So let's pause the video for a moment. Yes, hope you have written your answer on a paper. So welcome back to the presentation. The process is depending on different factors and it is important in the absorption of drug molecules which are of low molecular weight in general less than 100 Daltons and which are of low molecular size that means the size of the drug molecules should be less than the diameter of the pore through which they are supposed to pass. And generally water soluble drugs will pass through these narrow aqueous filled channels or pores. Some of the examples for coating here include urea, water and sugars. Even chain like molecules or linear compounds will also pass through these pores if even though even though the molecular weight is around 400 Daltons. But the requirement is they can be of chain like structure or linear shaped structure. They will follow this pore transport or filtration process. And this is the pictorial presentation of pore transport where you can observe the drug molecules are passing through a protein channel from one place to the another end. It may be from extracellular fluid to the cytoplasm of a cell. So this is how the drug molecule passes through the protein channel from one side to the another side of the cell membrane. So this is about pore transport which we have learned now and these are some of the references for this topic. Thank you.